What's going on guys? Cameron here with KD and Gamer coming at you with yet another video. Now this video here it's a little bit of a more serious tone. Now before we get into that uh, I do want to say I do apologize if I'm you know flooding your subscription feed. I'm not working right now. Uh, I'm one of the many that can't actually work because my job involves being in the general public so it's not really what I'm doing right now is not uh, you know something that's a necessity if you will. Uh, so I'm for lack of better word, I guess you could say I'm kind of bored right now So I'm pumping out the videos and um, I hope you guys are enjoying the content as well Now today's topic we're gonna delve into We're gonna talk about drug addiction alcohol addiction and video gaming So I'm gonna try not to go all over the map with this one now first things first. I've never personally been addicted to anything in my life um, obviously sometimes I shoot my videos I have a drink that's pretty much the only time that I'll have a drink is when I shoot my video and it's just for aesthetics but <laughs> trust me but you know a lot can be said about uh, you know video games uh, as far as pulling someone out of a dark hole um, I know somebody and for the sake of his own privacy I, I won't obviously mention his name but there's someone in the community that I talk to on a regular basis and even he, he's been open and candid about how you know video games has he's gone on record and he said video games has literally saved his life he was a drug addict I think at one point he was actually uh, dabbling into the heroin and uh, he hit rock bottom at one point I think he actually did, did some prison time obviously when you're in prison I, I imagine you have time to do some self-reflection and uh, needless to say, this guy came out uh, on the better end of things, and now he's doing really good with his YouTube channel. And like I said, video games literally saved that guy's life. So it's good to see that. Um, I know myself, um, kind of getting away from the video game topic for a second, you know, talking about addiction. You know, like I, I had a girlfriend a couple of years ago, and when I started dating her, uh, everything seemed innocent enough and then alcohol kind of reared its ugly head I could see as I started to get to know her family more uh, you know pretty much every person in her family had a DUI and including herself unbeknownst to me she hid it from me and uh, her father was an alcoholic as well so I've seen I've seen that side of the coin before I've seen you know the worst of the worst and it's believe me it's it's not something that uh, I wish upon anyone alcoholism is you know it's definitely a disease I don't know if it's something that you ever really get over it's something that you probably battle with every day for the rest of your life I went to a few or I think it's actually just one uh, AA meeting with her and her father uh, just to sort of get an idea of, of what these people go through and it's pretty no pun intended, it's a sobering experience just to see that firsthand. Um, it's pretty scary stuff. Uh, I know myself, when I was younger, uh, my best friend at the time, uh, we played Super NES, NES all the time, back in around 1995, 1996. And I remember as we got closer to high school years, my friend, uh, his name was Chris, uh, you know, darkness kind of reared its ugly head. I remember one day, he wanted to meet up with me at the park and I met up with him and he was all of a sudden smoking a cigarette and he had a bottle of beer in his backpack. Now, again, at this point, I must have been, what, 15, 16 years old. <laughs> so I see a bottle of beer. It's like, whoa. And uh, things sort of escalated from there. I stopped hanging out with him. He stopped playing video games. Um, you know, it's just he kind of went all over the place with uh, extra curricular activities I think he dabbled in the pod as well again everything's I guess okay in moderation um, again I, I do drink occasionally I don't smoke pot pot is legal in Canada how are we doing for time here five minutes <laughs> I'll keep going but I guess what I'm trying to say is that sometimes especially in a case like now with the uh, COVID-19 you know boredom can sort of bring out the worst of people and sometimes when you don't have a nice healthy distraction to keep you busy 
you know, sometimes people do resort to alcohol and, and drugs and alcohol, etc. Now, I myself, I mean, I got into video games at a young age, and who knows where I might have ended up if I didn't have video games? Who knows? It's hard to say, right? Uh, video games kept me pretty preoccupied throughout the 90s. Uh, and then when I went to college, I stopped playing video games altogether. And uh, I know myself, uh, as a lot of ad young adolescents, especially males, got into some trouble with alcohol. Luckily, nothing criminal related. But um, yeah, I know in those uh, those years from like age 19, 20, 21, <laughs> 22, yeah, not the greatest time of my life. But then I picked up video gaming again around 2008, 2009, and uh, things have been really good. But like I said, I know there's a lot of people out there in the community and probably in the world as well, where like I said, video games uh, has pulled them away from perhaps going down uh, a deep rabbit hole as an example. And uh, again, I've seen many people on the platform that, you know, have stated that as well. You know, that video games is basically their addiction, if you will. Now, that's another conversation for another day. I guess some people consider, you know, gaming to be an addiction. But I don't know. If I was a parent and my child was buying video games, uh, there's, there's worse things that you could be buying with your money. So uh, as a parent, I think you could, you could only be so lucky if your kid is more concerned about buying the latest version of Final Fantasy, and uh, he's not worried about having, you're, you're not as a parent worried about your kid trying to get someone to go into the corner store for him to buy him, you know, a cheap bottle of Thunderbird. <laughs> so, yeah, it's pretty crazy. Um, I think video games, like I said, it, it, it is a healthy distraction in moderation as well. Um, like I said, I'm very fortunate, knock on what I've never been addicted to anything prescription drugs alcohol i've never smoked but like i said if there's any of you guys out there that are maybe battling an addiction uh you know definitely make sure you you talk to somebody about it um don't hide that that's the last thing you want to do but like i said as a, i think this is a pretty strong community we have here and it is nice to be able to converse with people in the comment section as well so i guess what i'm getting at is if you, if you feel like you're alone or there's nobody to talk to i'm not saying i'm a therapist but you know it's always you know always good to reach out and talk to people even if it is a comment section online it doesn't have to be about your personal issues you can just talk about gaming but yeah i don't know i don't want to keep going on here because i'm already at the eight minute mark but like I said, we are in sort of dark times right now with everything going on with the uh, with the COVID virus. Um, that being said, if you are bored, uh, don't try to, you know, lean on alcohol as an excuse to cure your boredom or drugs or alcohol. <laughs> try to steer away from that. You know, if if you can pick up the controller, pick up the game, keep yourself busy, go outside, go for a walk. Uh, definitely it's, it's going to, the main thing is you want to keep busy. You don't want to be sitting still because that's when the voices in your head start to talk. And then the next thing you know, you're reaching for that bottle and I'm not trying to be sarcastic. Trust me. I've, I've had those days before where you're so bored that you're reaching for that bottle of wine and <laughs> we've all been there. I'll leave it at this. Um, I got Stephen King book up here, thinner. This is back when he was, uh, going under the guise of Richard Bachman. Stephen King, he's another example, uh, especially in the late 70s, 80s. He's talked about how he struggled with drugs and alcohol as well. And I'm pretty sure him being able to put the pen to the paper and continue to write and be creative uh, probably helped him, you know, get away from his, uh, you know, his addictions. So it's good to see that he's still kicking around as well, still putting out new novels as well. So that's always good to see. So, like I said, uh, just a short video here. Uh, let me know in the comments below. Uh, do you or anyone else that you know of either battle addiction or maybe you've overcome it thanks to video games? 
Uh, it would be great to hear from you guys below, maybe open up the dialogue for maybe a few people that might be too shy to maybe talk about it, but maybe they could read our comments and uh, maybe we could help somebody out. Who, who knows, right? So that's going to do it for this video, guys. I really appreciate it. Thanks so much for watching. Take care.